I've never done a video about the thing, so that's what we're doing. It's not like I've been secretive about it. I mean, I've talked about it on, like, live streams before. It, it, if you ask, I'll just tell you. It's on the about page of my channel. So this isn't, like, something I'm secretive about, which I can't because it's on my face. But I am still occasionally getting questions. They aren't mean questions. Wait, mm. There was this guy on Instagram who was like, the transphobia wasn't working. <laughs> he was just so uncreative, and I was just like, dude, the transphobia. You calling me Elliot Page's dead name? is only hurting Elliot. It's not doing anything to me. Just stop. So he started coming after me for my lip, which, like, I haven't been really, like, bullied about that since, like, second grade, so that was weird. It was just, like, a weird thing. I was just like, wh what are you doing? You're, like, a full-grown adult, dude. <laughs> Find something better to do with your time, seriously. But I never made a full video about this. I feel like I should uh, do a video about this because I'm still getting questions about it. Uh, maybe it'll help raise awareness. And I am really into charity work, um, for this type of thing, which we'll get into later. Also, I'm gonna break this video up into parts so it's not boring. Because I don't want to just, like, spew facts at you, or it be, like, a boring webcam video. <laughs> I have, like, uh, bullet point notes of just, like, basic topic ideas. Also, sorry for the shaky camera. Uh, this thing is resting on my legs. Anyways, what the hell is this? I've had lots of people come up to me and, like, guess as well, like, in real life at school and stuff. I've had people, like, come up to me and be like, oh my god, were you in a car accident? Were you in a fire? And I'm just, like, over here like, no. I was just born. And I've also got really weird questions, like, what's your life expectancy? Don't ask that to anyone ever. My life expectancy is normal. I've had, like, the surgeries. I'll get at least one more. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. <laughs> so what the hell happens? I was born with a bilateral cleft lip and palate. Uh, I'll put, like, a chart on the screen. I got, like, the worst one. I have two, by the way. The cleft thing, there's two separate ones, and I got the worst version of both. Because there's a cleft lip, which is the one that, you know, is the one that, that people point out. And you can get it, like, unilateral, where it's just, like, on one, or you can get it on both. And then the cleft palate, which is a bit more confusing to me, but it's, like, it's similar to where you can just have good cleft palate and no cleft lip, or you can have, um, just, like, one guy, and then it makes the cleft palate, like, smaller or something, and then y you have me. <laughs> Again, if you look at this chart, I got, like, the worst one. God really woke up one day and chose violence. Let's get into actual stuff now that you know what the hell happened, and now we're gonna talk about consequences of this, of, of existing. Bullying. I don't want you guys to give me, like, pity for this video. A lot of the stuff I'm about to mention was in, like, first and second grade. There was this girl, and I don't want to say her name. If anyone knows her in real life, I don't want people to, like, attack her. Even though if they know her and they know me, they probably know about that. But just to err on the side of caution. Also, this was in, like, first, second grade, so for all I know, she could be a completely different person right now. I very much doubt that. Her name starts with a V. Vodka Valentino. That's a guy's name. Nope. Viagra. Her name for the sake of this video is gonna be Viagra. Viagra was not a nice person. In mid Midway through kindergarten, I moved schools to a sketchy charter school, and I could make a whole video about that. Like, lots of legitimate trauma from that place that we don't need to go into. And Viagra was in the same class as me. I've had bullies before and after. None of them were as vicious as this girl. Like, I've had people from middle school follow my bus home to find my address because they didn't like that I was trans, and this is worse. So, I moved to this school. I'm the new kid. People don't like me for a number of reasons. Um, it's not just this, because that was mainly just, like, Viagra and her goons would bully me for this but also like i'm a trans person and obviously i wasn't out yet so i was just like this really tomboyish girl that weirded everyone out this was like an ongoing thing until i came out but it was like i didn't fit in with any of the girls because it's me but then also none of the guys ever wanted to be friends with me because i was a girl so like people had other reasons to bully me also i'm just like annoying but viagra woke up and chose violence she would just like constantly be like you're ugly, I don't like you. Uh. I'm just gonna talk about one thing, because this was, I feel, the worst thing. I was recovering 
from a surgery on my face. We'll get into the surgeries later, oh boy. I was recovering. I wasn't supposed to be doing PE, but again, this school was not good. So they took that note that was like, hey, this child is recovering from facial surgery. Don't have him do PE. And they ignored it and had me do PE anyways. So I was with the girls because they separated the boys and the girls during uh, PE because apparently just teaching all of the kids the same physical education would be bad. So I was with the girls. It was a pretty chill day and we were all standing in a circle. We had a rugby ball. I think that's what it is. Just imagine like football shape, but like very hard. So like, theoretically, if you were hitting a face with it, it would not be good. The whole thing is you're supposed to pass it around to the person next to you. It's very simple. You're supposed to like, kind of like, toss it to the person next to you. Very simple game. Viagra gets it. She's standing across from me in this circle. So like, if I'm over here, she's like, in front of me. And instead of tossing it to the person next to her, do you think she A, tossed it to the person next to her, B, dropped it, three, panicked and accidentally threw it, or four, looked me dead in the eyes and then threw it at my face? If you picked four, you are correct. So, that hurt. I mean, first off, it was a rugby ball. She basically just, like, threw a rock at my face. So, like, it hurt, but also I was recovering from facial surgery, so that was, like, a added layer. Like, I had gotten, like, my stitches pulled out of my face, like, a few days prior. So I'm, like, maybe not the best time to get a rugby ball growing up my face. So it, like, hurt, but I was in more, like, shocked, so I didn't really feel anything. But again, like, the person standing next to Viagra is like, dude, <laughs> your nose is bleeding. So the coach saw this and was like, oh, damn. Uh, so I walked across the school. Also, they didn't have, like, a adult come with me like you think like hey i'm recovering from surgery i just got like attacked you think they have like an adult come with me to the back room to help me no good coach just like hand me a pass and was like you could it is fine so i walked to the girls back room because again hi i come back and i'm going through classroom and the teacher's there and it's just like what the what it, mm, mm, and i'm like oh yeah you know viagra did this thing the teacher was like accidentally or purposefully so viagra obviously immediately was like oh sorry it was an accident it wasn't an accident um but she was like oh it's an accident so i was just like uh it was an accident because i didn't want to get beef with this girl so that was fun so lots of bullying and also just people being like doing this thing this crap uh the one celebrity who also did that like, s recently, about somebody who is, like, making fun of it. It's like, don't do this. When he shaves off his mustache, he's got a hairline yeah. fracture. He's got yeah. one of those, um, what do you call it? Cleft lip. Yep. Cleft palate. Yeah. He's, he's got yeah. this. Yeah. He's got this. Uh -huh. No, I find it to be, I find it to be very attractive. <laughs> First off, I literally don't look like this, so you're not even... But also, like, just... What do you think you're accomplishing? Like, yeah, I, I know what I look like. You don't have to do your dramatic reenaction. Yeah, people doing this, which, again, don't do that. Or just, like, guessing. Like, did you a car accident? I'm like, no, I was just born. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not cool. I think one time I lied to a kid because they were just like, what happened? And I like wouldn't take, hey, I was just born for an answer. So I was like, I got my face bitten by a shark. They left me alone after that. <laughs> and now to the charity thing I mentioned earlier. I was I was on the news. I don't know how many of y'all know that. I've talked about it before, but I was I was on the news. I really like this first one you did. I could do a whole video about that experience because it was really weird. Like, I don't want to be that cuff, lip, and palette poster child, but I kind of am. For my seventh birthday, I uh, was like, you know what? Instead of presents and a birthday this year, uh, I want to donate to charity. And a Bay Area girl is getting ready to celebrate her seventh birthday, but this year she's focused on something other than presents. For Smile Train, which is a organization that helps kids who can't afford it, like, get surgeries and stuff to fix it, which, you know, can vastly improve quality of life. Because if you don't get the surgeries and stuff, yeah, that's not good. So it's it's just an organization that, like, raises money to help kids who cannot afford surgery get surgery. And I was like, that's cool. I just thought I would help kids with cleft lip and palate so that they can have surgery to help get their cleft lip and palate repaired. I've been able to get plenty of surgeries. I'm going to be getting another one when I'm 16, I think. I'm 14 now. That's coming up. I don't like that. So I'm like, I want to do this charity event. It was an art event. Passion for art has led her to hold an art show. 
For the past seven to eight months, she's worked on over a hundred pieces to showcase, with all proceeds going to Smile Train. Uh, I was seven, so my art wasn't stellar. If I did an art event now, it would definitely be much better. But we have this whole ordeal where we set it up in front of a place I won't name because I don't know if I'm gonna get sued. It's an arts and crafts store. I'm sure you can probably guess which one. And after <laughs> complicated things, we set it up. I actually did end up getting presents from people who like walked by, saw what I was doing, thought it was cool, went inside and got me like a plush or like an art thing. So I did get presents, I just got wasn't the focus, obviously. And we raised a bunch of money. I think I even got like a special book from Smile Train. Hold on. Where is it? I don't understand. I cannot find a book, but um, Smile Train sent me like a book, I think because of a charity. I don't know why else they would have sent it. It just had like pictures and stuff. It was cool. We also have like a bunch of bracelets, I think, somewhere. Like leftover items from it. There was like a huge poster. That's another thing! Again, this was before I came out, so the news story has my birthday. <laughs> Which is just funny. <laughs> it's just funny to me. Also, I think he said that I had had three surgeries at the time of that. She's already had three surgeries, with at least two more to come later. That ain't right. That, hi, mm. <laughs> that news story is high key sketch, but I was on the news. We raised a bunch of my money for Smile Train. I will leave a donate link in the description if you guys are interested in donating. It's a very good cause. I very much believe in it. If you can spare the change to help somebody who can't afford, the whole thing is like, we believe every child should have a smile. That's kind kind of hard to do if you haven't had the surgeries. So like, if you can donate, link is in the description. If not, I guess just sharing it would also be helpful. It's a very good cause. Now to my speech. We'll get to the surgeries, don't worry. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. But speech. My speech has been a process. It's gotten better. It's certainly gotten better. But just listening to your videos from like a year ago, it's like, wow, S is be nasty. I made a post about this on Steven Universe Amino. If you want to go to that, the link is in the description. But yeah, it's like hard to form certain sounds, you know, when there's like a giant gaping hole in the roof of your mouth and your lips messed up. <laughs> My palate and teeth are making it hard for me to form certain sounds. It's, it's difficult. It's a process. I've gone to speech therapy plenty of times, got helped. I think the most memorable thing, <laughs> which was really funny how easy easy this was. And when we got to S, the teacher explained that some kids say S with their tongue, when it's actually supposed to be behind your teeth. And I was like, oh. So I stopped doing it. That greatly improved things. If you listen to my like older, like really older videos, first off, please don't seek out my older con- it's not good. But also it's just like, no, you just happen to be in front of you. You happen to see by me. What the hell was I saying? I don't understand. Me and Theodore will like playfully make fun of each other's pronunciations of things. Cause we both have like a history of speech problems. So that's cool. I feel like it's okay if you're like friends with somebody and you're like playful, but like p random people who I like like, don't know. I'll just be, like, meeting a new person and I'll say something. So if I'm like, yeah, you know, my mugger was literally will, like, cut me off and I'll be like, your mugger? Your mugger! You got mugged? And I'm like, no. You know what I meant. You're just being rude for literally no good reason. Obviously, I'm not talking about being mugged. This would be a very different conversation. Don't do that. Like, it's just very unnecessary. Like, I have not gotten through nine surgeries for this crap. Leave me alone. But yeah, I can understand if you watch my older videos, uh, what am I saying? I don't know. I can barely make out half the things I say in my own videos. I think it's easier to understand me. We're gonna take that as progress. Also, I tried to play trumpet. I, um, had gotten a trumpet in fifth grade before I went to middle school, where I would, you know, do band. And I asked my music teacher, you think it's going to cause problems? Because if you don't know when you have, like, a brass instrument, you have to do a very specific formation of your lips. I can't do it! I did band, but I would not do well. I would, like, know what I'm doing here, and I would be trying, and I would be listening to all the te tips the teacher is giving me, but it's just, like, I... I literally cannot. <laughs> so that was great. I did not do the greatest. I remember one time the instructor literally like paused everyone and was like, Tyler, love you. Stop. I really wish I had chosen like saxophone or like a woodwind instrument that wasn't a trumpet, but you know, hindsight's 2020. So that was not good. <laughs> it's very upsetting because I wanted to learn trumpet too, but I just like 
physically, I physically cannot. Now onto the surgeries. Fun. Most of the surgeries I don't remember having. Because <laughs> you have to get them, you have to get like the most important ones when you're like only a few months old. So obviously I don't remember that. Uh, shout out to my surgeon, Gallant. Love him. We stand immaculate human being. Great surgeon. Shout out to him. He's great. Uh, also just like really fun. He always has like a jelly bean bow tie. He's a really odd man. We stand. We love that man. But I've had nine surgeries. I believe that's the number of surgeries. The two I remember most are the one I had I mentioned earlier. The whole getting hit in the face with a rugby ball thing. That was optional. Like I didn't have to do that. But girl like if you do that it'll look better. It'll look better. So I was like you know what? I mean I, I would like to have like 10% less mean comments. So, they did that. I, I'm not entirely sure what they did, but they did something. It definitely looks less like I was born with two giant holes in my lips, and that's nice. So, this next surgery I'm going to talk about is a bone graft, which is the biggest surgery I've had. I have a scar on my hip. I might put like a picture on screen. I have a giant scar on my hip and you might be wondering, Tyler, what the hell? They cut open my hip, they took out a piece of the bone in my hip, and they put it somewhere in my face. Recovery was a nightmare. Also, I was like really hopped up on meds, so the whole thing felt like several weeks had passed. I was like convinced until recently where I was like, how long was I in the hospital? And my mom was like, oh, you were only in there for a few days, like one or two days. And I'm like, that doesn't, that doesn't seem right. Right. I was so hopped up on meds. Lena visited me in the hospital. That must have been fun for him. Sorry, Lena. But yeah, I had this big surgery. Now I have like a huge battle scar on my hip. If you ever jab my hip, it will hurt. <laughs> because I was sliced open. After this huge surgery, I was on an all-liquid diet. So even after, like, I left the hospital, I, like, couldn't really walk out well for a while. Like, it was, it was bad. For a long time, I had this, like, thing. It was, like, a drain or something attached to my hip. Uh, and I had to be on an all-liquid diet for, like, for a long time. I used to love cream of wheat. I no longer love cream of wheat. Now if I just, like, smell cream of wheat, I'm, like, nauseous. I ate so much cream of wheat. Yeah, I've had nine surgeries to get where we are now. And I'm going to have at least another one where they're gonna fix. I don't know if how many of you know this. I cannot put my bottom row of teeth behind my top row of teeth. Like, you know how most people have, like, their top row of teeth is in front of their bottom row. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. So, I'm going to have at least one more surgery to, you know, fix that. I found a subreddit for this. I didn't know there was a subreddit, but I'm glad there's a subreddit because, like, connecting with other people <laughs> from the research I did, it's like every one in 600 people or so. Cleft lip and palate is the most common facial congenital abnormality. It happens in probably about one in 700 newborn babies. My civics teacher in seventh grade actually had this. That was cool. That was like a weird we didn't ever talk about it but it was just like a silent connection where it's like we mm, maybe that's why it was his favorite student because it cannot have been because of my personality i was glad to find a subreddit and a lot of the people there were like yeah good jaw surgery is very good i've also heard on this subreddit that the recovery is a nightmare i i gotta do it <laughs> and finally for a more fun part of this video uh, like famous people who have a cuff lip and palate. But before I do that, I want to give a quick shout out to Will France. While I was researching and looking for like clips and stuff to use in this video, I came across this guy and he had like a video on his cuff and palate and like, I, like that's cool. And I click on his video and he does like really cool card tricks. Like this man just like does card tricks. Like he's a magician. <laughs> Amazing, we stand. Yeah, he has a really cool channel. I'll link it in the description. He does very good stuff. I DM'd him on Instagram. I was like, hey, I like your stuff. And he's like really friendly. He responded. And he was really friendly. So, great guy. Go follow him and tell him I sent you. Alright, now to get into this article for uh, famous people who have a cleft lip and palate. Alright, apologies for the drop in audio quality. I was recording the audio on my phone. Uh, but we're in OBS now and can't do that. So, um, yeah, hi. <laughs> it's probably very loud. Hold on. Uh, da -da -da. I'll fix it in post. It's fine. I have this thing. Famous people with a cleft lip and palate. Cleft lip and palate. Awareness week. There's an awareness week for that? Tim Duggan wrote. So this is a Olympic guy uh, born with a cleft lip and palate. Uh, nice. We stand an Olympic, uh, cyclist, it seems. Ooh, yay, we got Joker! Yes. This, uh, he played, 
Um, whoa, what? Mmm, mmm, okay. Attractive man. Unfortunately, he was the one who, uh, got one lady I played earlier was, like, making fun of him. And it's like, dude, that's just, like, you don't do that. You, d you don't do this thing, as I said earlier. You just, you sh just don't. Uh, Jesse Jackson, American politician, born with a cleft lip. Alright, we stan a politician. Unless he's not, unless he's, like, really... Unless he's, like, homophobic. Peyton Manning, American football. So this is a quarterback. Born with a cleft lip. Nice. We stand... Uh, I'm not really into sports, but we stand a quarterback in football. We like that. Keech Martin of Keech and Chong actor. Born with a cleft lip. I have no idea who this is, uh, but we stand an actor. Jose Ferrer, actor. It doesn't say what he has. King Tut. Had a cleft lip and palate? Scientists believe that King Tut had a cleft lip and palate. Also, why is- Okay, side note, this is really freaky because, like, Egypt has been coming up freakishly a lot in conversation lately. Like, it's like- I only- I, I, Hmm. It's been spooky how much, like, Egypt and ancient Egypt and just Egypt has been coming up in conversation lately. Um, so, this is kind of spooky. But also, we stand like a king, a literal king. Stacy Keach, actor. We stand an actor. Uh, Carmen Batcher, singer, was born with a cleft lip and palette. We, we stand a musician. Wendy Harmer, comedian, born with a cleft lip and palette, and as a result, she speaks with a lisp. Okay, we stand a comedian. Uh, we have a guitarist, Richard Hawley. Or a cup of open palette. We stand. I don't know this man, but why does it do that? Um, but we stand a guitarist, so like pop off, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna screw up this man's name so badly. I'm so sorry. Um, to whatever group I'm offending. Um, Lahubo Le 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 Millisebic. Professional football player, high key attractive man. Or a couple of palette we stand. So, um, yeah, that was that was a good video. Uh that was my couple of palette story. So y'all. Uh, next time somebody asks, I'm just gonna send them this video. Uh goodbye. Hope you enjoyed. Farewell. Love y'all. Goodbye.